Hey, it's Mark John Jeffries. You're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Hello, everyone. Mark the Statman Skevich, Real Fans, Real Talk. And after interviewing Skyscraper, the biggest man I've ever met in my life, I felt a little short. So I, I have to interview my favorite little man in acting, huge superstar coming up in the world, especially since the last time. We have the pleasure of having him on the show. Mark, thanks again for coming on the program. Now, Mark John Jeffries um, in the 50 Cent movie, we talked about all that before, but then you started your own acting school and you're now on Power as well. Could you tell us first about Power and how you got that role? Uh, just went in an audition, man. You know, uh, talked to, spoke to Fifth a few times about like being on the show, you know, winning an audition or something, being able to earn that right. And uh, fortunately, something came up season two where the character was close to like, you know, my physical being a short character. I went in, auditioned for it, killed it, and got the part. What is it like on the set being a part of such a big show like that? It's a family. Whenever you're around enough people for a certain amount of time, even if you don't even get along, you know, necessarily with everybody, it's still a family because you see them, you gotta work with them, you gotta learn how to put your differences aside. But it was a great set to be on. A lot of love, a lot of good individuals, a lot of honest hearted people. So how much does that compare as far as uh, enjoyment, fun factor, overall experience to some of your other roles? Uh, I would say it's pretty high, you know. Uh, finally get a chance to work with a lot of people that I've seen around the industry a couple of times. But I did a few projects that Lala was on, but never really, you know, had much conversation with her. And then uh, got a chance to like chill with Melo a few times after that. And then wind up getting on the show with 50. We haven't worked with him since I was 15. Um, the Tory, Lay Low Kim, and the Tory, you know, so. I mean, it was dope being able to connect with Martin Hardwick. Because we shot a movie together before I got the role on Power. So like, it was just a nice thing, you know, it was a lot of fun. All right, now you're at Mark John Jeffries Acting School. Can you tell us about that and uh, how you got it started and uh, how people could join and all the details? Oh man, I, I just got it started because I wanted an outlet to give back to those actors that have the talent and have the desire, but don't necessarily have the means to afford the more expensive school. So I made a more affordable acting program here in New York City for actors that just had that desire, they got that determination, just that, that, that burning, you know, I, I, I call my school a hundred to so um, I started it up, Ripley Grist Studios, uh, anybody interested, you can dial 646-238-0605, uh, you can text it, you can call it, uh, one of my representatives will give you all information, and that's how you can find out about the school. Right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now you're also not only giving back by offering an affordable acting school, you're giving back by coming to these charity events. You were bowling at Bowling for Peace six, about six months ago, now you're bowling at Bowling for Peace right now. Uh, Another great event. Uh, how important is it for you to give back to the community and be at these charity events? It's very important. You know, it's my roots. I'm from the Bronx. My mom is from uh, Lower Manhattan, the East Nugget, or in Brooklyn. My father's from Harlem, so I feel that charity is definitely a necessary thing. You know, somebody got to pay attention to those that necessarily can't do for themselves. I got a little saying, a tree, no matter how tall it grows, can never stand without its roots. So that's why I'll never forget mine. So I feel like doing things like this is a way of staying grounded, staying in touch with my roots. Definitely. And now, do you have anything for the fans out there that might be coming up? Uh, that... Yeah, I have uh, six movies coming out this year, so nice. I have a uh, supermodel with Tyson Bedford and Angela Simmons that's coming to get us pretty soon. I just got a movie called Nerve with Emma Roberts and Dave Frank while playing one of the leads in that. I just shot another one called Coco with uh, Rizzo, the director. It's with uh, Azalea Banks, Common, and Queen Latifah. Uh, we had Brotherly Love that just hit theaters a while ago. Uh, I got Happy Baby that's coming out soon. Another one with Amari Hardwick and Loretta Devon called Chapter and Verse. Um, and then I started working on another one in like two weeks called The Lucky Guy. So doing it, man. You know, keeping the ball rolling. Just like the other little man, Kevin Hart, you out there, six right. movies coming out? That's yeah. that's great, man. I love it. I love to see you uh, continue uh, to become more and more successful, and it's also 100% great that you keep coming to these charity events, and I hope to see you at the next one. Yeah. Thanks again for joining us on Real Fans Real Talk. For Mark John Jeffries, I'm Mark the Statman Skevich, and we'll see you next time.